So, uh, in right. ancient Rome, they didn't have chairs with backs on them. Uh, they hadn't developed the technology? They had developed the technology. But, well, really hang on. Back the thing that I just said is not entirely true. The upper class, specifically the senatorial class, would not sit in chairs with backs in them because it was thought that it bred bad posture, and bad posture bred bad men. <laughs> There's a lot of things like that the Romans thought that might not be wrong. Almost well, all of them certainly were. And I mean, we've got our Lucky here who's undead and cursed, so it seems to be fitting in with the theme of bad posture. It's true, look at that. Yeah. So by the way, welcome to Endless Mode. Oh, I did not know we were recording. Hi, and welcome back to Endless Mode. I'm Boku Bell. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Special Guest T. Stymac. And we're going to go fight us a Tauros demon. Let's see if I don't dick it up right before getting that far. Because it's uh, been a few weeks since I've played and I have not improved or practiced. So. Now, just to be 100% above board, we did uh, play a little bit before we started recording. We got... Uh, we picked up the bottomless box from the merchant and gained a couple of levels. Okay. But... Just... Just enough to remember which button is to get into inventory, so that you don't have to watch that nonsense I mean, more again. more or less. Yeah. I you don't... watched episode one, you got to see us go, controls, how do. Okay, exactly. I just remembered how to roll. Oh, okay. there's a bunch of bunch of, of, of friends down there. Um, uh, that's going the opposite, opposite way okay. we want to go. Why don't you tell me which way I should uh, go? Just keep pretty much going straight up if, those stairs. If I'm remembering right from last episode... Did we did we say that this episode we were for sure going to beat the Tauros demon? Um, I think that was sort of our plan. Was, I think we kept yikes. I think we, we kept spent, telling ourselves we spent ourselves... an episode kind of half heartedly attempting it. We'd get distracted, or I'd be at the controls and get killed by these guys, <laughs> or but, we'd uh, go and try to beat up the Black Knight guy and right. fail at that. If we beat that Black Knight guy, we get a really cool sword. So um, uh, that's all I'm we saying. We can always come back. We've here, only right? tried I mean, like nine. The name of the game is we can always come back. Eleven here. <laughs> times. Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like Groundhog Day, but for jerky monsters. <laughs> <laughs> they all do look a little well done. Little little season. Well, I mean pyromancer. Well, we've got a we've got a, a spare humanity. We can look like a regular dude or a regular yeah. lady. Is there a an advantage to that at this particular juncture? There I'll, is not. I'll be honest. Humanity is something I don't get. Yeah, just eat in those fireballs. In game, as like a a mechanic I or in game. I love those atomic fireballs. Like yum, I get yum. the lore of you're on a hollow. So you're gonna want to your triangles your health potion aspect uh, of your previous self. No. Nope. Triangle is not your health. X is your health potion. I'm about to say, I'm, a, I'm on a 360 is... controller. I'm a far cry from uh, triangles. X is um, use consumable. Eh. Blue skittle. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, well. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so that's. Okay. So that was not. Now, according uh, to my. Not optimal. According to my research, that <coughs> wasn't. That's not the approach we want to take. You wanted to run trial two? Sure. All right, sure. we've handed off the controls to uh, Mysterious Gamer X. You got this. This is uh, yeah, we're gonna we're not gonna get all stabbed up this time. Well, or I mean, as a little, up. yeah. Uh, but Captain, the uh, the thing that you do with humanity when you are human, you can summon help uh, oh, okay. from other players. Now, there are no more Dark Souls 1 servers, I don't think. I was going to say, this is on like a Xbox 360, even if there were Dark Souls servers. Yeah. I, I don't know what the state of the Microsoft Xbox 360 server is. That's, that's a good point. That and know. we don't have Xbox Live anyway, so... Now, there are NPCs that you can summon, but only for specific bots fights... And, uh, there's, there shouldn't be any real reason to. You don't necessarily oh, have God. to. Oh, God. Oof. This is not, we are not. Technically, we did not get stabbed a lot that run. That's it's true. true. We were burned alive. We're right. a lot more jerkified now. Oh, boy. Now we, too, are part of the I got overconfident. Empire. I was pretty sure that fire couldn't get me, because it never has. <laughs> oh, it does. That I've... happens pretty regularly. You'll get trapped there. 
So, uh, controller going off? Yep. Yes, controller handed off to Captain Emoji. Might want to swap away, swap away from the mace. It was a lot slower than I was expecting. Oh, it's, a, uh, It's crazy slow. Also, you about to get slid up the back. There you go. Like a funeral suit. <laughs> Boom! That is the like, that is the nice thing about living in Dark Souls world mm -hmm. is there's no need for funeral suits. That's true. You know, you're always dressed your best for for death. Why are they all here? They <laughs> they heard there was a barbecue. They Everyone's to cut just loose. coming to your party. Christ! Oh. oh okay. Okay. I yeah. definitely forgot what I was doing there. <laughs> Shish kebab. It is going to more capable hands than me. <laughs> all right. Uh, I didn't lose us guest. anything. I guess. Special guest Stymac has the controls now. We promise we will get farther than this. Oh, I hope. Today, friends. Well, we're it's... losing ground. Which Actually, is kind of embarrassing. That really. is true. Next, you next... guys were doing so well during the warm up. I was so pumped. I thought we were going to make it like no, nah, all the way to the bell to the you know the bell per tower performance anxiety. Performance our, uh, anxiety. Our our Crunchwrap Supremes wore off, and now we're. We're I will, I will agree the mace is slow. Uh, like, even two-handed. It's like you I have thought. to trade off for raw damage or something. Sure. <laughs> but, I mean, I did pretty good with the axe when I noodled for a minute. And it's kind of slow and choppy. I figured it'd be fun. I was wrong. Scrungle him. Ah, <sighs> That's okay. He doesn't have a ton of health anyway. <laughs> I hate that I've played enough of this game to see what competency looks like. I can identify <laughs> it now. I mean, I am passable. I am passable in this game. I would never claim to be good at it. On a relative scale, uh, what's it I said before? The one-eyed man is king in the land of the blind? <laughs> I will say that I don't know too many people online or off that like claim to be super good at Dark Souls. Like, there are people who are like, oh, yeah, you know, I've improved a lot, or what have you, but I don't know a lot of people that brag about being the unkillable Lich King of Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord of Fire? Yeah. <laughs> Is that an actual character? I sense, I sense you yearning to explain backstory of the game. I mean... That we'll never uncover on our own. No, no. Uh, like, there's Lord Gwyn, who... <sighs> was kind of king of the gods, sort of Zeusy figure. You remember him throwing lightning bolts at dragons during the intro cutscene? Sure. Yeah. yeah, there's that guy. And, like, our job is to replace him. Oh, so it's... So we're going to bring a motion before Parliament and maybe, like, do a, a special election? <laughs> yeah, basically, with our sword. Special like, election. Special election with sword is historically how it's been done. Uh, like, we'll, millennia. uh... <laughs> oh, fast. Should probably stop messing around. I don't know, you're doing pretty good there. I will say the tight quarters probably make the shield a bit more uh, useful. Yeah. There are, there are two... Well, there's a bunch of ways to play this game. But the two prevalent ways that people start to play this game is... Uh, they shield up and they get either a spear or a halberd. So that they don't have to put the shield down, and they just sort of turtle their way through. Uh, and then there's, like, the big dummy way of playing it. The fun way? Yeah! I will admit to being a big dummy. <laughs> I mean, mush together, are we not the biggest of dummies? <laughs> there we, go. we didn't say to ourselves, man, you know what I want to play? Dark Souls. Did any of you say that before I... Like brought this into your home? And yeah, like, of we, course we had, not. <laughs> uh, I think me and Mysterious Gamer X had discussed it a little bit. Dark Souls or Bloodborne or what? some other popular and game. And I think the what I said like. was, Something... "Oh, but it'll take fifty episodes to get through the intro." We we were we were considering the idea of one of these uh, very punishing styles of game. Something from this franchise, probably. And I was uh, I was I was thinking maybe the Dog Island. Maybe the uh, great Xbox 2009 hit James Cameron's Avatar for Xbox. <laughs> we even have a Dinotopia for the 360. No, it's actually original Xbox, I think. I think so. Yeah, we got... We, we had arguably less punishing options. It's true. <laughs> We're going to visit those two, I hope. Yes. 
Well, I'm glad you decided to take this adventure with me. Well, we love you yeah. so much. How how could we I'm not? Back. I'm doing that same thing that you guys were all doing. Of not remembering which button is fire. Yeah, our, our scrubness is. is actually infectious. <laughs> um. Watching us play, you will unlearn how to Dark Souls. <laughs> well, I'm getting <laughs> Good just Lord. crushed here. It's... Oh, this is that same place that. Uh, oh that yeah, this is where fall. I um I ate my I ate my own death. Oh, that was bad timing. Well, uh, you got the heal off, fortunately. Oh heck, things have gone terribly awry. <laughs> I wonder if there's a game that's like Dark Souls, but with bureaucracy <sighs> instead of combat. <laughs> I would play that so long. I feel like I would do pretty good there. Europa Universe. Uni Univalis, I think? Europa Universalis? Yeah, okay, uh, everything's uh, terrible forever and reasons. Now, we might want to backtrack, because now we're going to go right fight way. a Taurus demon without any Estus. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or you so can have gonna... a try at that Black Knight. <sighs> Oh my god. You Our... just want to see me get stomped into mulch again. Our... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> the sirens I do like call. playing this game. <laughs> and we swap controllers when we die. That's fair. That's a good point. <laughs> I was actually thinking about that because, uh, like that, especially, well, my combat style might not be terribly conservative. I'm pretty conservative with uh, going back and getting bonfired up. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, if it starts to seem like maybe this is, I'm on the controls too long, let me know, and we will just, uh... I mean, that's not yours offense. to control if we die in 30 seconds. That's yeah. true. <laughs> but we can switch off when we when we bonfire or when we level or something. We okay. Do that too. Um, you know, if you, you start blowing long. through this game too quickly, <laughs> I guess we'll... I guess we'll, we'll do it. We'll revisit that. Yeah. But. You know, when we when we don't have enough time to really personally get to know the environments, at this point, I know the NPC social security numbers, so. <laughs> we have spent a lot of time in this little nook of uh, Undead Bird. I mean, I'm practically dreaming about it at this point. <laughs> Good dreams, I hope. <laughs> sure. Push him off the edge. God, yes! Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that is very satisfying. We should do that more often. There is an area where, because of a... It's not so much a bug as a... A feature? feature? Yeah, somebody goofed. And they put a monster outside of the world geometry, but they forgot <laughs> to delete the monster. <laughs> uh, so every time you enter this specific zone... It just falls? Yeah, it dies. And you hear it die, and you get 400 souls. Oh, no, that's, wow. that's nice, you know? See yeah, I can pull one of these guys and fight all three of them. That's the jelly bean in your Easter basket well, right there. I think that worked. Shield guy seems interested in taking your your challenge. Ugh, oh, finally timed that right. Nice. Now, as long as you can get the axe guys to miss once, you're golden. Oh, heck, I whiffed it. As whiffs go, not too bad. So how do you do that forward stab, anyway? Uh, that is when you're using this long sword, and that's the heavy attack when you've got your shield. Oh, uh, okay. When you're two-handing, it's that big sideways stab. Which is what I kept thinking I was about to do when I was doing the big sideways slash in tight corners. Ah. Well, I'm glad we got that sorted, then. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a swords boy. And, in fact, depending on how things go... There is a sword that we can get uh, that we don't have to even really fight anybody for. We can just run for it. I like that. That we we can well, go back and get if we want to. In theory, we can bait the Black Knight into this terrace here and then run back to past where he was and pick up whatever he's guarding. <laughs> he's guarding a pretty good ring. Like, not great. Better than no ring. Which is what we currently have. I want to know how these guys have access to, like, Infinite firebombs? Alchemy fire. Alchemist fire. When we lost the recipe and any notion of what it might have contained millennia ago. Well, maybe they've been around that long. Well, That's see, fortunately, point. they're dead, so they keep coming back whenever any jerk uses you know, a bonfire. Good point. <laughs> good point. That's how they restock. So do we need to just... Would the smarter thing to do to be not fight them and just kind of round them up and sort of keep them in a kitty corral of death? <laughs> you mean that thing that the people in wherever we came from were doing? Is that what they were doing? 
Undead Asylum. Oh, hey. Okay, so they were on the, they were kind of the, had the right idea there. Yeah. Oh, my this God. This is embarrassing. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, heck. <laughs> Somersaulted right. Oh, boy. Like. Oh, boy. Jeez, oh, jeez. Somebody didn't uh, play catch with their dad on Father's Day. I I got greedy and I got overconfident. Don't worry, it's in my capable hands now. <laughs> I'm taking over. Um, Where did? Uh, oh. Captain Emoji has departed for just a moment. We'll return shortly. All right. I just didn't notice him leaving, which I know. is hard to believe. Very he is, stealthy. He is quite large. Oh yeah. Okay. No, that's... Uh. Probably want to swap back to a. That's exactly stab. what I was thinking. If I can, nope. If I can, uh, nope. It's the D pad. If I can, maybe. There we go. No. Right on the D pad. Okay. Did I use? Oh, item um, I unless have? you want to no. change the. Unless change you want to. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Oh, I want to go okay. back to the because I I so far have really only been able to succeed with this thing. Okay. Well, okay. Still right on the D pad. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Now, there will come a point in this game where we'll be able to upgrade our weapons. Uh, but the upgrading weapons equipment is pretty... Oh, God. I just pretty thick on locking on instead of actually fighting. <laughs> so, are these guys going to follow me if I just come up here? Sometimes. Some okay, of them. Okay, well, then they can just eat, like, a bunch of dicks, basically. They'll come right up behind you, oh. and, like, <laughs> it's gonna be you eating the bag of dicks. We'll see. We'll see, my friend. See? There's that guy behind you. So far, I remain unstoppable. But you made it in the room, so the fireballs aren't getting you, though. For some reason... Oh, Pretty well, fired. okay. Oh. Well. Well. You know, when you look at it at a certain angle... Maybe I should have killed the guys behind me. I mean, I never would have said that. Um, no, no. It's no. always hard to tell what actually aggro's in this game. I don't know if it's because they're undead and they're dumb, or just you know that is bad RNG. <laughs> that is actually a lore thing that I kind of want to talk about. I don't know if I already have. Um, where these dudes, when you're undead, you just. Uh, you keep coming back, and you slowly lose what Pieces makes you you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, like, that's what's left of these guys, uh. is standing guard on this abandoned wall. That's all they remember being, it's all they remember to do. They remember hmm. to report for work every day. Yeah. And that's the thing that makes the Chosen Undead character special, is that they're, like, sandcastle that they can't stop building no matter how many times the tide washes it away, is... Like, trying to save the world. Right. Oh, I actually kind of like that. Yeah. That's, uh... Now, that, that, that's me. That's, uh... The game is never gonna come right out and tell us that. Yeah, I, yeah, which is kind of a shame, because I really feel sort of like I'm just, um, the sharp slasher in, in the, the land of the Slim Jims. There's not... <laughs> I don't I don't feel a lot of the Snap lore. Snap into a Slim Jim. Right. I, I mostly sort of just see that I have to kill these guys over and over and one day I'll get lucky because God help me, I'm not gonna learn. Although, uh, <clears throat> Captain Emoji, you've been improving greatly in the two, uh, the Stymax are, are killing it. I think that, uh, I appreciate the phrase. <laughs> the majority of Stymax are at least a little bit of mentally ill. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, oh yeah. And I think that we're welcome the right to, kind of mentally ill to be good at this kind of thing. Welcome to the fucking party. I was gonna the say. hats lost their elastic and we're out of the things that go clerk. <laughs> so, uh, have that's some That's cool. Luke How did punch. I do the jumping? I think that's uh, forward and heavy attack. In the same way that forward and uh, light attack is kick. <clears throat> or maybe you gotta be running? I don't know. I think it's running. So holding down B. And then... You can do a running attack. Oh boy. I really wish this game had friendly fire. Or I guess friendly swords. Yeah. 
So that when they swing at each other, like, there's a repercussion for it? Yeah. Oh, good job. Nice job. There we go. Yeah. Oh. I mean, ob obviously, whatever, <clears throat> whatever fit or not, I feel towards this game, it's spoken to so many people and has generated so much, uh, uh, content and... Is it the one sequel or is there another officially announced yet? There are, are two Dark Souls games and there's Bloodborne, which is sort of a spiritual sequel. But right, there's a lot right. Uh, and then there's, there's a Dark Souls 3. Lot. There is. There's a Dark Souls 3. And Dark Souls 3 answers a question that a lot of people had about Dark Souls 1 in a really unsatisfying way. And what's that question? The question is, who is Lord Gwyn's firstborn son, the War God, who lost his divinity? Is the answer the original writers forgot, and so this is what it is now? Or is it kind of like a Broly situation? The answer is, uh, like, this dude who, in Dark Souls 3, you stabbed to death. Okay. <laughs> Instead of the answer that everybody thought it was. And you'll meet that dude a little bit later. He's everybody's favorite NPC. And I mean literally a little bit later. We can get past the tourist team right there. Oh. So we'll meet Endgame Godson? Well, that's the guy that everybody wanted it to be. Okay. Um, I know of only... I know of two characters in the franchise. I know that there is a Lady Maria of some kind. Uh-huh. And I know that there is an Onion Man of some kind, and that's all I got. Yeah, we are a ways away from Mr. Onion Man, uh, yeah. who is a defo fan favorite. Uh, Lady Maria <sighs> is the guy that... Or is the gal that Petrus... Our buddy with the bad haircut. Uh-huh. Uh, but he does have a bad goatee. Uh-huh. So... Okay, good. Sorry, that's a that's a callback to a joke I made off camera. Uh, that's that's who he's waiting for. Okay. Ah. Unless I'm remembering. Well. Now, so do you think they made the, the lore so um, obfuscated because you would be killing the same things 30 times and you'd have time to really think about the clues you've been given and try and parse out a story? I think that, like... Is it the in-flight movie of the <laughs> of the never-ending game? Don't forget there are a couple of archers on that tower. Oh, there are. Taking those out before the spawn is probably a good idea, I guess. Yeah. Before you pull the boss. Right. Now, the thing that I said uh, about the Asylum Demon mm -hmm. being a physical object in the world that you can see mm -hmm. before you uh, walk into that trap mm -hmm. is not true. Oh, really? The tourist demon. And that really bums me out. But at the same time, you are now at a point where... Uh, or maybe not uh, here? Where would he no, be? No, he'd be on that tower. But I think that's just masonry that I'm looking at. Yeah. But you're at a point where you can get a bow and you could shoot at him. Okay. And I think Can't they didn't that. want you to do that. Oh, God forbid we make it smart. We gotta make it hard. Yeah. There's a there's a boss. Uh, uh, I take it I can't run and just run through that other white light. Probably not. No. You gotta kill that dude. Although, I will say the... And his 19 abs. <laughs> if you climb up the ladder, and but, do a dropping attack on him, you're gonna do, like, a third of his health. And he follows, right? He'll hop He'll up follow, there? He'll follow. He will. And, and he can do that. I was Ooh. gonna say, what I remember of the Asylum Demon is if you chill out too long above his head, he will punish you for that. Oh, yes. So, like, taking a nap up here is not recommended. No. Good job! Nice. Good job! Now I need to be anywhere else. Ooh. He's big enough you can run through his legs. That's nice. Just get gently grazed by his business district. Well, I mean, we can get right up in his business district and see there ain't nothing no, there. No, no. Which is maybe why he's so mad all the time. Maybe. I mean, maybe. He does look like a pretty horny dude. Oh my god, really? We, you, You're bad, god. and you did bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> uh, I regret nothing. <laughs> you cannot... Oh god, I accidentally made my own pun. I was about to say you can't punish this man, and then I heard it in Gene's voice. <laughs> In, uh... So the first time I beat the Taurus Demon the way I did it... I duh, crap. Is I accidentally made him jump off of the building. <laughs> it was a complete accident. I didn't know you could do that. And I'm bringing it up only to tell you that he can knock you off of this building. Oh, good. Good to know. Very exciting. 
Can we climb up, back up and, like, Mario stomp on his head again? That's what I'm yes. gonna try. Oh, boy. Okay, good. And if you two-hand it, you'll do even more damage, so... Which, I, you know, you've got it two-handed already. Nice. Good job! So, so, if you... I, I don't want to jinx it, actually. I'm gonna yeah, no, shush! <laughs> I'm doing good. You are. Oof. Ouch. Hits like a Mack truck, though. He mm -hmm. really does. He doesn't have to hit a lot. He just has to get a couple of good ones in. That's the case with a lot of the bosses, on account of them being boss monsters. That makes a lot of sense. I flubbed that. Oh, boy. Need to be not here. <laughs> One, One more. more! Hey! Yeah! Nice good job. job! We're finally free! Whew. So the thing okay. I wanted to say... I felt secondhand satisfaction. Is that so far, if I'm not mistaken, Mysterious Gamer X... You're the only one who's beaten a boss on camera. I mean, does the asylum even count? Eh, it's boss of tutorial town. You gotta okay, beat him before you can know. leave. Look at your it's crew, true. it counts. He was the mayor on Foursquare there. Checked in every day. That's right. <laughs> now there's the question, is the next bonfire anywhere remotely near You will be brutally here? murdered before the next bonfire if you do not go back to the bonfire. <sighs> okay, sounds like a plan. I was gonna say no flasks. Like, And you got quarter health. Almost uh, 5,000 souls. So. Mm. Yeah. yeah, no, that's a good plan. Do you want to go back and talk to that merchant boy? Yeah. We could get, like, at least, I think, three levels out of this. Or or we could get the repair box. But so far, we don't need it. Box. Okay. Yeah, there's a good Nothing's chance we're going to be picking up a weapon before another weapon breaks. Yeah, so. I this is this is going to be so dumb that I'm, I can now literally... Now let's go kill the Black Knight. He's right down there. I can literally <laughs> hear... Like, the three first three people viewing this groaning, but the souls are the what give you levels? Yes. They are your currency for everything. Ah. You spend them at the stores, yeah. Everything is powered by murder, much like capitalism. So if you, if you always <laughs> lost the... If you always lost the, um... The boss souls? Like, if you were just so incompetent that you always lost the boss souls? Like, if you got killed right after the tourist right. even and didn't make it back to that spot. Would you be able to grind... Until you... Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leveled. Okay. Uh, Dark Souls 2, you could only kill a given dude ten times. Oh. Um, but that is not true right now. Here in Dark Souls 1. And that's speaking good. of which, that's probably a good time to end it for now. That is. All right, guys. End our first episode on victory. Yes. Woo! Yay! Uh, shower us with praise and adulation in the comments. <laughs> and likes and subscribes. And likes and subscribes, and uh, we'll see if we can kill another boss thing. No. Maybe. <laughs> no. Yeah, okay, that's about what I thought. We might get there. 